Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is going to be Foundry VTT, even if it's not at the moment. And I want to talk about Curse of Strahd. Um, we are not building in this video. One of the reasons why uh, videos have been a little bit lax lately uh, is because I have been working on Curse of Strahd and trying to get it into a place not only doing stuff in the background, but trying to get it into a place where I can release some of this for those of you who are interested and want to play. And with the uh, Halloween just around the corner, well, in a few weeks' time, um, you might want to run something like the Death House as a, a one-shot. Now, I say one-shot doesn't mean it's going to be one session, um, but it's a relatively short adventure that you might choose to run. So I wanted to kind of rush and release it, and I've actually packaged Curse of Strahd in a slightly different way to make it more modularized, so I can kind of release as we go. Um, partly request of Abe, who asked if he could have a copy of it, and it kind of prompted me to get my finger out of my backside. Is that a phrase? <laughs> uh, and make a bit of a shifty. So this is ready. In the description, there is a link which will enable you to download this zip folder called cgcurseofstrad.zip. You just need to extract this anywhere you like. It's going to crack on and do its thing. And you'll end up with a folder. Now, in this folder is another folder called Curse of Strahd. I will fix that, it's not fixed in this release. But what we want is this Curse of Strahd folder, okay, the one above where it's got the packs and things. So one above, and we want to place that in our Foundry folder, in our Data folder, in our Modules folder. So I'm gonna place that there. And you should know you've done it right because you'll see that there's a file in it rather than there being an empty folder like I had before. So you can see also in here I've got my 2024 Players Handbook. I've got the Item Piles mod, the Lib Wrapper mod, Monk's Active Tiles, Socket Lib, and Tagger. Those are the modules you're going to need to have installed. Sorry, not the handbook. Don't need that. Item Piles, Lib Wrapper, Monk's Active Tiles, Socket kit lib and tagger so i've done quite a lot of work to try and minimize reliance on modules and only keep the things we really need item piles i've left that in there because i'm using it for some of the shops as and when they encounter them um, if we have problems i could remove that as well uh, but everything else i've kind of stripped out all right so what do we do okay so we've got this cursor strad in here now it's in the correct place so uh, now we need to actually run the dang thing. Now I am going to kick off my server. Um, because I've built this on my normal world, my 3.3.1 D&D game engine world, I don't want to load it into there because it's already loaded. That's not going to show you anything. So I'm actually loading it into my D&D 4.0 world. Okay, so playing with 4.0 here. Uh, and if I go to my add-on mods, I can see that I've got CG Curse of Strahd is showing up along, <clears throat> excuse me, along with item piles, tagger, socket lib, monk's active tile triggers, and lib wrapper. Uh, we don't need Actor Studio. That's where I was playing with it um, for a few videos ago. And you don't need the player's handbook. Obviously, that brings a lot of stuff in, but um, we don't need that at all. So let's... Um, Let's start a brand new world. Uh, let's just call it COS for this purposes. Game system, I need to select D&D. This will only load for D&D. Not gonna bother with any of the rest of that stuff. Let's just crack on. All right, so let's launch this world and log in immediately. Hello, go for it. Okay, so completely new world, completely blank. So just clear those bits. So we want to go to our manage modules and we want to activate CG Curse of Strahd. And you can see this is going to ask you straight away to bring in these dependencies. If you don't already have these installed, uh, it won't tell you they're missing. It just won't allow you to load Curse of Strahd. So that's all we need. Let's save. Obviously, it's going to do its thing where it's going to reboost there. Du -du -du. Um, talked about uh, an issue with active fire uh, with active tiles and item piles don't worry about that 
So what does this actually give you? Because it's not changed anything. So if we go to our compendiums, we, we've obviously got some of the default compendiums that come in with Foundry anyway. But what we're after is we've got CG's Curse of Strahd here. If you click on this, you're going to get this window. And this is how I'm now going to be packaging the rest of Curse of Strahd as I go into these effectively chapters. Uh, we're interested in the Death House. So you can click on that. Um, and it's going to tell you what it's going to do. Um, it's going to bring in 11 actors, 4 items, 3 scenes and 10 folders. Alright, so we're going to import Adventure. Uh, and it's straight away brought us in here. And I've already spotted that my, I've had some troubles with my pit trap using the correct image. I will fix that for the next release. Um, I'm not sure if it's the, I think it's the tile image rather than the actor one. Oh, I checked that so many times. <laughs> So what have we got? So if we look at scenes, we've now got a folder called CG Curse of Strahd Scenes. And if we open that up in here, we've got Act 1, The Death House. So what you'll end up with is you'll have a folder with CG COS and all of the different chapters will appear within that one folder to help you keep things neat and tidy. Um, thank you, Michael, for pointing out that that's probably a good idea for me to be a bit neat. Um, but I can open up the death house and in here is the Durst house and I've got my scenes here. So this is the, the death house from the outside. So getting rid of the levels mod to make it much more compatible to make sure you encounter fewer issues. Um, we've now got this tiled map here. So we've got our ground floor. We've got our first floor our second floor and the attic. We have got our creatures in here. We're animated armor, we've got our broomstick, etc. Those are all in. We've of course got our dungeons with the slightly wonky pit trap um, with these bits in here, including where we've created some of our own images for some of these creatures that are specific to these modules. <clears throat> and if they dis if your party decide to upset the house, we've got the escape version of it so it's the same maps and everything but rather than use the same scene and get you got lot to fiddle with lighting and things it's much cleaner just to say hey look if they upset the house and need to escape they're just going to use this map so it's exactly the same layout it's just got the creatures removed it doesn't need it's got the lighting changed it's got these smoke effects and things like that so Everything you need map wise to run the death house is here. Let's look at actors. So, again, on actors, we've got a CG Curse of Strahd actors folder within there. Specifically, we've got death house, and then we've got some folders in here for the monsters that are required for the death house. Any NPCs, so it's Rose and Thorn in this case and a folder for any traps and things. And I'm going to try and follow that convention through the whole of building this. So when when you, if you choose to then update it with the next pack, you'll see that everything is following a very similar kind of pattern and it should be easy to find. It will just drop these new folders in there and we're going to look at that in a minute. If we pop to items again, same thing. We go to Death House and here, <clears throat> my voice has gone really croaky. Um, and here we've got the items that are pertinent to the Death House that they might find. If they find them, they're right here. You can just drag them over, uh, dump them on the character sheets, etc. Which is lovely, nice and easy for you. But we don't have the journal. And the reason we don't have the journal here is because... The journal is pertinent to the whole of Curse of Strahd, not specifically the Death House. And if you're only interested in the Death House, this is all you need for it. So it's all here, ready to go for you. So that's pretty cool. I hope that appeals to some of you. Um, obviously, credit must go to Aeon Bar, whose maps that we are using as the default maps for everything, which are absolutely fantastic. We love that. And what also should be said is, while you get the adventure here, we don't, or rather, sorry, you get all the maps and things you need here, there isn't a copy of the adventure because <laughs> uh, copyright, it's simple as that. 
So I haven't provided journals with all the location descriptions and things because of copyright. So you would need to uh, own an original copy of Curse of Strahd in order to run the Death House as per the Curse of Strahd uh, way of doing it. However, there is also the Dragna Carta, Strahd Reloaded version, which actually runs the Death House slightly differently. You still need the original Curse of Strahd module, but it does run it differently. So if I can use an example to illustrate one of the differences, in the, get the right room, which room am I in? <laughs> I go to the, oh it's down here, there we go, <laughs> blimey. So in the original um, module, they encounter a spectre of the nursemaid and have to deal with the nursemaid. In the Dragna Carta Strad Reloaded version, um, this isn't a thing. So if you're choosing to run that one, you can just delete that. You don't need it. But I've included it, so whichever version you're running, you should have everything you need to be able to do that. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's kind of all here. Uh, we also do have our clicky button for the letter that they find uh, that's actually from Strad to the uh, to the owner of the house. So that is there for you as well as a resource. Right, I'm babbling. What happens if we now go the landing and intro? So those of you who followed along, you'll recognize this. This is the my landing page, which you can see actually in the image there, along with those initial scenes that I've used that get them into Barovia and to the death house. Now everybody starts Curse of Strahd different. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. This is the way I chose to do it. Uh, in some versions, you end up in the death house and that is your gateway into Barovia. Mine isn't. They get into Barovia and then they end up in the death house. So this one's gonna bring in three actor, new actors, the journal, five scenes, three playlists and eight folders. So let's import this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, it already exists in the world, or it doesn't, but there we go. So now what have we got? We've now got one folder, CG Curse of Strahd Scenes, and in there we have got the landing page. Here it is. Um, we have obviously the Death House is still here, but we also have Into the Mists. So we've got the Mysterious Visitors. If I close that for a second, including the buttons that I use for getting things to fade in and out. And they are all working, which is lovely. Get rid of my children again. Because my party started... I found a broken one. Great. <laughs> Typical. I'll fix that for the next release. Um, but my guy started in Fandolin. You, you're going to start wherever you want. If you wanted to start in Fandolin, um, I had had a map there for you, but obviously... That's not that important. I didn't check that one anywhere near as carefully because it was so easy. Of course. Of course it's the thing that's broken. Um, but we've got all of this. This is all going to work for you. It's switching of the images um, with the corpse and things. We've got our wolf howls. They're all working. Our Barovia in sight. Uh, and our rose and thorn that takes them in my way of doing it, um, encourages them to go to the death house. So that's all there in the scenes. When we go to actors, again, in Curse of Strahd, not only have we got the death house, we've also got intro, which has got the, well, actually there's only dire wolves and wolves, um, because if they decide not to hurry along the road, they might end up in that battle. And of course there is that wolf battle scene. There it is. If they need that, um, and we've got those uh, those creatures on there for you already. There we are. So they're all ready to go. So we've got our actors again. So Curse of Strahd, and then you're just going to pick your chapter. It's not necessarily hugely efficient, because in Monsters, for one of them, you might have Wolf, and then in Monsters, for another, you might have Wolf. So there might be some duplicates. But it means you can pick up each chapter as you want, 
and you can effectively once you've passed a bit if you're resource conscious you can delete the folder and get rid of all the stuff that's already happened you know you're not going back for example to the death house so just trying to segregate it out now the player party um, there is the party group here so you will need to add your players to here if you choose to go down that route um, so you'll need to add your player characters of course if I go back to the landing page the reasons why we've got errors on here is because this is where you would just need to update these tiles with images for your player characters so when you've seen that I've got my players characters all in there you need to add them into the party so that the party loot stuff works down the bottom here uh, and you can add their portraits in there nice and easy now in mine when you click on their portrait um, it's got a trigger there that opens their character sheet so you would need to also reset that trigger if you want them to be able to click on their on their portrait to open their character sheet it's really not a big deal it's very simple to do um, but you don't need to have it click through why not they can see them they can see them over here anyway all right next items um, there are no particular items for the intro they don't find anything of particular use uh, but there is the journal so again uh, CG COS journals here's the party journal with all of those lovely resources ready for them to find um, and uh, actually use like the various letters the letter from the death house is here of course uh, the village of Barovia that's the map that's another map that's broken excellent uh, is Mark the Great so the statue they find later on when they get to Barovia itself so there are a couple of little broken bits of course I'll fix those um, but those bits in the journal, the map of Barovia, we haven't got there yet. I haven't, haven't built that one yet, <laughs> so that's not an issue. Uh, what else have we got? So we have got playlists as well in here, which has just got some background waterfall and the wind, windy woods and things like that. But they should pull through to those scenes for you immediately. With uh, As soon as you bring that stuff in, it should bring in any of those sounds without any drama. So that's what we've got. Um, this one here, the Ark B, Welcome to Barovia. I mean, you can import it and have a look if you want. Uh, it's not remotely complete, so don't <laughs> don't at me, dudes. <laughs> um, but again, following the same stuff from after the Death House, they're going to come in, and you've got all of your maps and stuff uh, here for it. Still very much, yeah. See, look, not finished building half of this stuff. Um, finding the barricades. Uh, the Blood of the Vine Tavern, etc. So there's been a lot of work gone into basically stripping out levels and checking because the whole of my Curse of Strahd will follow the Dragna Carter's Strahd Reloaded version rather than the original module storyline. Um, most of it is the same. It's just a lot more detail in Dragna Carter's version. A few items have moved. A few conversations are different. Uh, there's a slightly change to events. So, for example, this whole nonsense about the barricades does not exist in the normal module. So, if you wanted to run the normal module, you just wouldn't ever use this scene. That's not going to happen for you. They're going to arrive in Barovia and go pretty much immediately to the Blood of the Vine Tavern. Uh, and everything that they need here is ready to go. Now, in some of the scenes across the whole thing not so much for for the death house um there are things like there are actor tokens that are put to one side and hidden because what happens is the party turn up with ismark which is why ismark's outside in the dragna carter version and they sit in there and they have a chat and then part way through the chat mad mary comes in as well so i've tried to make those tokens and things available and ready for you but have them hidden because you you don't want the party seeing them just yet uh, now of course with any of this you are welcome to do what you like with it change it everything else i have got uh, shops set up so buildrath actually is a working shop uh, and that should work immediately for you. That's the big reason wanting item piles. I'm trying to do all of that work for you so that you can focus on reading the module uh, and understanding the story. You haven't got to worry about your maps and your lighting and, and everything else. And of course, you've got all of this, all of these different bits of artwork that, um, that I've gathered and generally made using AI. 
so we've got lots of uh, okay so Barovia village we've got some barricade icons we've got our monsters that we need and uh, we've got our NPCs now there's quite a few NPCs because it's an entire village so all of these have got a unique um, a unique image for them that have all been generated for you uh, so you don't okay you don't need to waste your time doing that nonsense because I've wasted my time <laughs> doing it but yes welcome to Barovia is not ready but that's what I'm working on at the moment you can see a lot of it I've got a lot of the scenes here I just need to polish it and make sure it follows the Strahd reloaded order correctly so I've had to go back and put in the uh, the barricade I've had to put in the so you've got the barricade when they arrive and then they go back to the barricade later at night where it's a combat scene so um, I've got that all prepared now that's interesting why is that not coming that's just a normal white from from the SRD so there's gonna be a little couple of little things like that that might not be perfect um, but that's fine that's just a monster you can swap it out that's not an, not an issue or even delete it so yeah, so same scene, but at night now, different people here ready to go, and the Western Barricade is also all set up, um, and in some places where there's major events and things. Obviously, I need to t th do things like take the grid off of here so you can't see it, but I've tried to prepare it as much as I possibly can. Um, don't touch this CG Cursor Strahd one. That will eventually disappear. That was the original complete everything all together. Um, I can't delete that yet until I've moved the things to their appropriate new ones here. Cool, blimey, that was a lot, wasn't it? All right, so anyway, if you want to run this, there is a link in the description for that. I will also put a link to the Dragna Carta um, website uh, so that you can go and find that nice and easy for you. If you have any significant problems with it, do let me know. In fact, drop the best place would be to drop them in the comments of this video and just say, hey, look, finally got around to having to play with this and this didn't work and that didn't work. Um, I hate to use you guys as beta testers. Well, yeah, you are beta testers because we've already had some of uh, the channel members have already tried a few things and it seems to work. Um, and you can see here that actually a vast majority of it works even though this is a completely fresh world on a completely different hard drive a uh, completely different version of Foundry for me, a completely different installation. Everything has worked just fine apart from a couple of little niggly image things which are touch wood, easy to rectify, but it should run. Cool, well, yeah, I hope that's been good. Let me know if you intend to run it, that'd be great. I'd really like to hear your your feedback and your experiences if you do choose to run the Death House as a Halloween thing or just run it anyway and you decide to do it. How did it work for you? Was it good? Have you got recommendations for future of what I could do? Now obviously I'm building this for my players so don't expect me to change track tack completely and just do something completely different for half of it um, because I need to satisfy my audience, my, my game audience, my players. Um, but I'm doing all this effort, why not share it? I'm gonna shut up now. There's something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it was. Um, I mean, I, I guess we should uh, just reiterate um, Aeon Bar for all of the maps and stuff that we're using. Absolutely brilliant. Um, thank you ever so much to the likes of Michael, who have done a fair bit of testing and playing around with this, uh, which is really good, and to Abe for uh, for pushing me to actually get this ready. He wants to run it. He wants to run it for Halloween. He's like, come on, move yourself. So, uh, hence... Uh, this past couple of weeks there's been quite a lot of work done on this um, yeah I'm going to keep working on the in the background welcome to Barovia for that whole chapter for the village as well so I hope I can have that to you within the week um, and what I'll do is I'll just update the release I'll do a, a much quicker little video or a, um, a, a community post just say hey look the next one's out re-download it um, and stick it in there it won't affect stuff you've already got installed, but of course you'll be able to do, you know, bring in Welcome to Barovia, um, and that's there. Look, I've even put a link into the uh, Strad Reloaded right here for you. That was very thoughtful of me, wasn't it? Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut up. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for all of your comments, all of your likes, um, for all of your views, and obviously a special thanks to all of our members for uh, for their support. Um, and for their feedback and for their help with stuff. 
you know, because they're members of the channel, but actually they help me with things. They give me advice. They check things out. They test it. Um, they make recommendations. It's really, really useful. So, um, yeah, big, big shout out to you guys. Thanks, everyone. Take care.